our brain actually exists inside a box, our skull. And our skull needs to go through the birthing canal when we're born. And there's only so much space for the pelvic bone to move. That means that this is a physical limit as to how big our head can get. Of course, our heads don't remain the same size all throughout our life. That's why babies are born with a soft spot that allows the head to continue to grow after they're born. Similarly, our brain continues to develop after we're born, but you can only grow as big as the box you're in. Our brain has developed a really interesting way to get around this problem. Instead of growing outward, it starts to grow inwards. The brain begins to develop crevices and wrinkles to allow for more surface area. Think about a sponge. It can occupy the size of my hand, but if I squeeze it, now the same thing is taking up a lot less space. And that's exactly what our brain is doing. It's folding in on itself to occupy less space without losing any mass. So if you've ever looked at an image of a human brain and you've noticed it has all these wrinkles and crevices, that's what they're for.